What's up, y'all? So, yep. kick her back with pig pen. Um, sitting here at this guy's house, waiting for him to come, trading my little piece of crap. Oh, that might be him right there. It is. Yep. All right, kill the video. We gotta go. What's going on, fucking? What's up, y'all? So we are here at U.S. Auto Parts Supply, and we are doing the sixty for sixty. Now, if y'all don't know what the sixty for sixty is, they hold You're it out. They hold it here every Black Friday. Basically, anything you can carry in your arms or with a buddy, um, you get for 60 bucks. Now, there are some exclusions to it, which you can go to the U.S. Auto Supply website and find out about all those exclusions. Um, I got to end with my mud jug. Um, but as far as that, yeah, anything you can carry 60 feet, you get for 60 bucks. If you can carry a fucking hood 60 feet, you get it for 60 bucks. You can carry anything on that hood. Which is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be taking a hood. I gotta get a hood for my K20. Um, the anything we can carry on that hood, um, get for 60 bucks. So it's a cracking fucking deal. I mean, shit. You got if you, you guys can make it out here next year or whatever, it's freaking awesome, dude. I mean, this is my first year doing it, and I'm almost positive I'll be doing it again in the future years. But so yes, we're gonna be here. Um, after this, we are actually gonna be heading um, to work. We gotta grab his tool cart. And then we got his transmission back yeah, last week. Finally. Uh, picked finally. it up. What was it, last Monday we picked it up? This Monday. Was this Monday? It was this Monday we picked up his transmission from the shop. This past Monday, yeah. Um, so we're gonna go be taking that up north. That was too fucking expensive. <laughs> can you get my, can you get my mud jack, please? My hand's full. My hand is full. This is the last fucking time I do this. Thank you. <laughs> um, I could just gut it, but I don't feel like gutting it right now. I'd rather you not. Yeah. Um, but so we'll be going up after this. We'll be going up north. Um, and we are going to be doing some hunting. We're we'll also be putting his transmission in his truck finally. Get his My truck's gonna work. Get his truck on the road. I'm gonna have to step in this shit. Um So yeah, we're gonna be coming back to oh and there goes the frames. Can't see anything. Too dark. Tyler, the lighting. Shut the fuck up. The lighting. Oh, there it goes. Shut up, fucking. Um Dude, I'm gonna have to step in that shit. It's like your boots for crying out loud. Thank you. I don't want your fucking dip spit on my boots. <laughs> so we'll be going up, put a transmission in, and then we'll be doing some hunting as well. Stay tuned um, for that portion of the video. And so, yeah, we'll see y'all in a little bit. If you've made it. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. All right. Stay out, y'all. And we're back. What's up, y'all? So we're up here at the farm, and look at this. This is like a big old barn back there, but look at that field. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, there's my new truck. Nice 1994 Chevy. No, sorry, it's a Ford F-250, my bad. Sitting on a 35 inch groundhog. Oh yeah, look at that son of a bitch. Oh yeah. And we got Tyler's, or Pigpen's little Chevy V10. I really, this is a nice truck though. I really like this truck. Put that cow induction hood on there. Hell yeah, you got the 31s on that thing, but I got them 35s on that son dick. Um, so we just got <coughs> excuse me, this transmission um and everything unloaded. So um sorry about the lighting, this bar is kind of dark. This is the workload we're working with right now. Got the drive shafts, uh torque converter, new mount for the transmission, transfer case, and the transmission itself. So, I'm gonna go inside for a minute. Get out of my property! And there he is. What's up, y'all? So, right, thing back in here. but yeah, now we gotta push his V10 back inside. We're gonna go inside. Yeah, push his K10 back inside, and then we're gonna. How are we going inside? Gonna hit the tool cart, is it? Nah, I shouldn't hit the tool cart. It should be fine. I'd be surprised. But. Um, we're gonna do this, go back inside, get warmed up a little bit, and we'll be right back. So, you know it. Hell yeah, keep with us. Y'all need to listen up. 
It's cold. It's real cold. It's freaking cold. It's like freaking 36 30. degrees out right now. No, probably like four. Nah. It's somewhere around that time. It's time. freezing freaking cold out right it's now. It's cold enough I got gloves on. Pansy, I got sweater on, no gloves. He's got gloves and a car hard on. Okay, look. <laughs> but anyway, so a little update. The transmission is no longer sitting here because it is underneath the truck. We got a transmission under there, got the transfer case, and the cross member all bolted up to it. Surprisingly. So, man. So torque, we'll probably, con torque converter yes. has been installed properly. Yep, torque converter's been installed. It's all been filled up with fluids. Um, all we gotta do now is use the jack and lift the son of a dick up in there. And um, hopefully we can bolt it in. Yes, and hopefully. And hopefully can tomorrow it. I can drive this motherfucker home. Well, we're not leaving tomorrow. Sunday morning. We're leaving Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Tomorrow morning we'll be hunting. Maybe. Hope most likely. Maybe. Most likely. Maybe. We'll get this done tonight. If we get this transmission in the truck tonight, bolted in and almost ready to go. Not full, not filled, full, filled. If we don't don't get it filled tonight, I'm not too I'm not too worried about that. I gotta take the intake off anyways. But we get it in and bolted up tonight with the drive shaft in. Tomorrow morning we'll be out in the field. We'll have some we'll have a hunting vision for you tomorrow if we get that done. So uh stay tuned for that. Uh we'll have an update when we get this transmission in. So till then, see y'all later. Get this in me off track. And we're back. What's cracking, y'all? So, update. Transmission is in. Drive shafts in. Trans cool lines are hooked up. Only thing we got left to do is bolt in the top two bolts on the bell housing. And what was it? The two side bolts? Um, the four side bolts. Four side bolts. Uh, the four. There's So, on these 700 R4s, you have a total of six or seven bolts. Mm-hmm. You have two on the driver's side, two on the passenger side, two up top. So six. Yep. You, have, you have six bolts. Um, the ones that we're doing today are the four sides. Two on the driver, two on the passenger. Once we get those on, because we just had, we went out and I went ahead to go out and get new bolts. I've lost the other ones. So we had to cut these down a hair, literally. So that way we can bottom them, so it wouldn't bottom out. I'm about to try them over here because it, I'm, just so y'all know, the driver's side trans bolts are the easiest bolts to get to. Because there's nothing in your way. Literally nothing. Whereas on the passenger side, on these 87 Chevys, you have a... Most, most 90s model Chevys too. Yeah, most, most 90s. You have the starter that's right there. Early 90s models and late 80s models Chevys. You have your starter there, but that really shouldn't affect you because it's forward of the transmission. <laughs> By like a, like an inch or something, and then you have your trans cooler lines, you have your exhaust pipe, you have um, what's it what's it called? The support bar for your key case. Oh yeah, the uh, yeah the support the bracket arm. Yeah, the, the yeah the bracket arm. Bracket arm. Bracket arm for the key case. Yeah, that you have to bolt through. To get to the transmission to get it the block. That one's a pain in the ass. You, yeah, it's got to go. Th you got to go through the bracket arm, through the transmission, into the block. Yeah. And it's just like lining all that. <sighs> and the, 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 I, I, found, I found I've done this in my second time messing with this transmission because I had to replace my engine in this thing for fun. But easiest way to get to the top two is from the top. Yep. You get in there from the engine compartment. You can get. Those two top bolts out, and they're all of those trans bolts are fourteen mil, fourteen mil. I promise you. Yep. Actually, I can't say promise you because some of y'all fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all weird and go, oh, it's not fourteen mil, it's a fifteen. Give me for a fucking millimeter, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, it is. We're looking at like it's ten o'clock at night. So, we're going to be up till midnight if this bitch don't run. Yeah, we'll probably be up here. Hoping to get this done within the next, like, half hour to 45 minutes. 10 minutes. No, 10 minutes. I, I, I'll give it a little more. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah. You know? Um, I gave it an hour. Yeah. At, but at we should have this done, and we'll have an update once we get this. Some dick all...
buttoned up, ready to roll, and we're probably gonna, I don't know, it's too late to do a test drive on it. You wanna wake your grandparents up. Um, I'm not test driving this tonight. No. I still gotta do my fucking intake. Yep. So after we get all that done, we've actually got a... Hang on, let me, let me bring a light over there so they can see. Yeah, let me flip this camera around real fast. Oh, I hold just on, took a picture. So, what we're working with here is we gotta actually take the upper um the throttle body has to come off yep the coil which is this blue piece here in the back has to come off accelerator cable has to come off this is normally where your detent or tv cable is hooked up that has to come off the brake booster ex, uh boost the brake booster vacuum hose has to come off these sensors have to come off the spark plug wires have to come off of the distributor along with the coil wire the distributor has to come out and this diaphragm has to come off once you pull all that stuff off, then you can get, uh, you don't really have to take this off, but you can if you want to. I'm probably not going to, just for conven convenience. Also, wastes a lot of coolant, all that coolant wants to come out. There is no coolant in this thing, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> there's, no, there's no coolant in this, it all leaked out. So. But yeah, then you have your 16 bolts for the intake. Yeah, it should be like 16. Yeah. So yeah. So we're probably doing that tomorrow, taking all that off. And then after. After. After the morning hunt. After the, oh yeah, we're going to be going hunting in the morning. Because we got this in, it's such oh, a great yeah. time. I'm rewarding him by taking him away. <laughs> because, okay, y'all y'all don't understand the value of good friends. All right? All right. Like, this guy right here, I've only known, when, when I first got to the unit, I only knew him for three months. Mm -hmm. After those three months... We became the best of fucking friends. I have no idea why, honestly. It's just like... Old trucks, country music, instant, and girls. Instantly clicked off by yeah. us talking about trucks. Yeah. That's all... That, the first That's conversation we, we had... That's all we, we talked about trucks. trucks. We know trucks. We know women. We know beer. And it's funny because we were both driving little Saturns at the time. He had a little Saturn I on. He was driving... No, it was a SI. Uh, SL. SL, he was driving. I was driving a little 200, and we're up here talking about big jacked up trucks. Um, but we, we were we were one in the same. Oh yeah, one in the same. So whenever someone tells you that you're one of a million, they're right. Yeah, I was one of a million. I met two. Yeah. Now there's two of us. <laughs> now 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 we getting it. Now we getting it, man. So. But uh. Yeah, we're going to be going hunt tomorrow morning. We'll have a video up for that one. If we get anything, we do. If not, I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, shit, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a shirt right now. You guys can't see it. And I'm pretty sure that's copyright. Um, but basically, it says... Wearing shirts aren't copyright. Well, <laughs> some companies may see it as... It's a Cabela shirt. Yeah, it, oh, it's actually not. It's a uh, Dunham shirt. Talking about the shirt underneath. Oh. I'm wearing a shirt that actually says a... Bad day hunting is better than a good day at work. And I live by that because, I mean, why would you want to be... We are both semi-mechanics. Why Why would you want to be at work? Yes, I love my job. Don't get me wrong. I love my job to death. But I would... I I feel most comfortable. For me, be most comfortable is out here. In the woods, Just doing nothing. Out in the woods... You got me during hunting season. You got your shotgun. You got your bow. You got your black powder muzzle loader. Whatever you got. I mean, just sitting out there in the woods, the peace, the quiet. I mean, it's just, for me, that's heaven. If there was a heaven, this would be it. I mean, now you sound like a fucking country song. I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is, I honestly, if I could, I'd move out here. I mean, dude, if I had a quarter of a million. This would be mine. Oh, yeah. So, but yes, we'll be back. Uh, probably not going to put up another video tonight because um, it's getting pretty late. But we'll be back in the morning with that morning hunt, and we'll let you know how things go. Actually, so, if I can talk him into it, we might just make this whole thing one 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 video. What, should I pull this out tonight? No. What? Make a two-part, two-day video. Well, yeah, it will be. We're going to record it, doing it. Yeah, so this is the last part we're filming tonight. Yeah. This will be the last so, part. when you see me waving this 3H ratchet in the front of the camera like this, that's day one. Yeah. When, so, you, when you see us sitting in the blind, I got a face mask with a skull and an American flag over my face, and a shotgun next to me, that's, that's part two. two. 
Yeah. So stay tuned for part two and get you some meat hard strength, man. Catch y'all later. What's up, y'all? So, it's about what time is it? Eight o'clock in the morning. 8.30. 8.30 in the morning. We're out of here. We got out of here a little bit later than what we thought we wanted to be. But, we had a long night last night, so. What's up, y'all? So, last time we were up, we had, what was it? We just put the transmission in. Then we were in the blind. We were up in the blind doing some hunting. Didn't see anything, so we called it a night right around one. Well, the reason we didn't see anything is because the fuck is over the Rooster Ranch. There's a, a place up here called Rooster Ranch. They hold European hunts. And the motherfuckers are up there shooting fucking fully automatic weaponry. Yeah, so because of them firing off round after round after round, no deer came around. So we called it right around, what was 9 it? 9.30. 9.30 in the morning, called the hunt. Um, got back, we're working on Tyler's truck. Uh, we're gonna get, we were gonna go get some nuts, because we were missing a couple nuts for some bolts on Tyler's truck, and my starter, my truck wouldn't start. So, We've kind of concluded it was a starter. We pulled the starter out, drove half an hour to Bad Axe to go to O'Reilly's because that was the nearest O'Reilly's around. And um, they tested it and the starter failed. So, got a new starter down on my feet here. We're going to throw that bitch in. And um, we'll just, we'll see if that fixes it. We got to, we Shut gotta, up. Shut up. Uh, and we're gonna see if that fixes the issue. But, um, so until then, we'll be back. And once we get the starter in, and hopefully it fixes it. So, catch y'all a little bit, guys.